like myself, I kept seven years in my mother's home before I was born. That's the secret of my power. So when I was born, I was born with a set of teeth. So I was born with a set of teeth, everything. So my father was, uh, was afraid, and then my mother too was afraid. So they kept me in the bush. That was August 14, 1948. There was travel war, we didn't know Duan Idari, and from Monto Township. So they left me there. They want to pick me. If it were my uh, shrine, you see a lot of these pictures. So they want to pick me. Then I was with the hunter. The hunter said he wanted to use me to, to do mercy. But I didn't die after seven days in his back. So he started giving the medicine leaf. Put it in my mouth. Then leave out for me. Started giving me. Last thing my people brought me back. They were telling my father that there is one of your sons somewhere, you have to look for him, so they brought me back. The first day I saw a woman in the top hill of Idari, maybe you know very well. So when I saw that woman, he brought this akala, cake. So I was sitting there with that The woman said, come here, sit down there, do you know this woman give you cake? I said, sorry. So I have to sit down. So when the mother is doing it, my mother is I don't even know what I feel. This is my mother. So from there, I, my people took me back, so I came back, so I started school, I started uh, primary school at Fabo in London. Fabo? Mm. Fabo in London. Fabo? Mm. Mm. I started primary school, so while I was in the primary, the Reverend Father so liked me, so they took me as a mass boy. I was a mass boy, but my dad would leave because they don't bear. So all those priests that and they don't bear. Mm. But I served the Reverend Father for long. So. I left the school. I went again to another school. So from there, I went to uh, United Trade and uh, United Trade School in Sapler. We did that time telecommunication. It is now it's very popular subject. Now that time no work. So when I passed out, I didn't see work. I work at Dubai in uh, Ibadan. So I was a transmitting officer for later. So they don't like it. Because they know that if they take me, I have my intermediate in city and base of Lord in telecommunication. So they don't they won't like it that I will overtop them. So they drove me. So I have to go to the I went to the police. So I joined the police as a credit inspector. Mm -hmm. What's your um, that's around around sixty something. No, I won't remember but everything is here. So I joined the credit uh, as a credit inspector. I was with the police. Later, if you see a mark here. There was a travel perfect war within uh, uh, this in this Agbekoya uh, uh, people. So I was the, the, the team that arrested the uh, Agbekoya people. Mm -hmm. We didn't arrest them by power. I did, I follow a tall lady like did my sister. So that lady said, Yeah, he doesn't bear. He want his, the father wants him to bear. So he do like this and that. So I want to marry you, sir. And this, this man doesn't know that this person is a police officer. We were there. So, we were there, we were there. Every time I go to Yagan food to deliver what I see as a, as a CID. But one day, we say, okay, why do you, how do you use to uh, uh, disappear when people come to me? Sir, you see that port there. If I enter that port, nobody can see me. Port. Port, a very big port, the Kukula. So, it's the, for, it's the very one we carry from there. We carry the port to Yagan food. A police officer is a Calabar man. He was a inspector. He said, "Is your airport?" He said, "Why?" He don't break the port and went into the uh, main road and was smart. I'm going to kill him immediately. Oh. So, all this is I was a police officer. I went to uh, Ano Gompai State CID. You no, know, I was there as a uh, police officer. So I left there because my father agreed to. He said, "Don't let me to get to the old dog who doesn't like policemen." It is now these days that they really used to see money in the city. So I left the place. What did he want you to do? Your father, what would he have preferred? He said, uh, he said I, should, I should do other work than police. So that time, you know, Odo doesn't like a uh, person being a police or they feel it as a cause people. So I left the police. So I went I went with a lady to Celestial Church of Christ. I said, you know, what did you That time, if I want to invoke some spirit, after talking some language, you see all of them church, church around me. <laughs> I used to play a tune. They say, I didn't know I said, devil, don't even you know, let me fear me, they respect me. They say, I don't know, don't do it. So I went to uh, Celestial Church of Christ. When I was there, they sprinkled this uh, holy water on me. I started, my friends started. Then I fell down at the day. So when I fell down, anybody that comes, they say, oh, 
come and test our organ. This is your end. Good, you two do. So I was there. Before 14 days, I said, oh, I said, I to Papa, I shall not see you. So I make myself a clear carry. I just see myself wearing uh, this uh, white garment with the four corner, the perfect. So I just prophesize for people. And then they knew me. And I was there. I helped a woman who was uh, 52. She was a parent. So that's how they sent me to India. I went to India. I went to Bukhari Science School in Bombay, in India. To where, sir? Bombay. Okay. Science so a, a lady was uh, was having a persistent headache. So I heard the lady. In Nigeria here, apart from uh, uh, India, there's something we will talk with our finger. What worry somebody will go immediately. Yes. Well I was uh, healing uh, mad mad people, I don't do it because of my grandchildren. So my grandchildren now they are going to 15 or so. So they say I should stop it. Because of time, all those people are building some industry, something, so we have to stop killing mad people. So, when I went to India, if you, if you see here now, there's something they said in my hand. Whenever I touch somebody, after being, uh, after going, uh, come back from India, so I decide I don't want to come to Celestia. They don't use white clothes, they don't use, they don't use that so I can't say. So I decided to go to Morocco and I can't stay by the uh, this side with all these pastors. So I have to go and settle in a place at Lacho Street in Morocco. So I was in Lacho Street with my landlord used to Lacho Street. Lacho Street in Morocco. Street Lacho Street Street in Morocco. This my landlord is an Indian woman. He likes me so much because he doesn't believe that I am a social person. So he's the one welcoming people. He says, sit down. And the man is coming because I like praying too much. I have, uh, I was having some, uh, this thing like a carpet light. So I will use a spread it on the, uh, on the beach. I will climb it. I will go far. Some journalists tell me a, a spiritually walk on the sea after just Christ for me. So if I see important people, I will go to, to go and pray in the parish. I will light a candle. They will see the candle and everything after I come back. But when I come back for when they did Polish Morocco, I was at the airport. So we went to Barcelona. So we wanted to do some uh, trade fair there. So I have to be there. When we went to Barcelona, those those uh, habalis, they put fire in my <laughs> in my shira. They burn everything. So they say, how ah, can this man, very small man, is the man, government will call him, didn't even do that. So from there.